I just thank you for the kind invitation to be here with you, to be part of what is a significant event in the lead up to elections in Sierra Leone. Um, my country, Ghana, has been on the democratic path since 1992. Of course, it didn't come as a flash in the pan. It is the result of the historical experience we've been through um, since independence in 1957. Eventually, after years of turbulence, all political stakeholders agreed in Ghana that constitutional democracy was the way to go. And so if there's one thing that has maintained stability in Ghana is that on both sides of the political divide, everybody agrees that um, the constitution shall never be overthrown again. So since then, we've had experience election after election. We've seen power change hands from one political party to another. So it's become fairly normal to win or lose elections. And as I've always said, elections are about winning and as much about losing. Um, there can only be one winner for the presidential contest and even for parliamentary, but on, in every seat, there can only be one winner. Um, magnanimity, when you win, and graciousness when you lose is an important part of elections. And so I believe that as we go from election to election, we we'll continue to consolidate our democracy and um, people get used to the fact that you can win or you can lose and whatever happens, you have to take it in, in your stride. Um, Chairman Justice Hamilton invited me to be a part of the process of signing a peace declaration and um, having been a part of such a peace declaration uh, before as a signatory, because I was a presidential candidate, I now have the honor of presiding over one and s seeing other candidates sign those declarations. I believe that the importance of these uh, peace treaty and declarations is to make it obvious to the candidates that they are the leaders of their political parties and that they hold a personal responsibility for what happens in the elections. That's the essence of these declarations. On the day where you append your signature and commit to non-use of violence in any circumstance, then you take on the responsibility that you are the leader and you make sure that your people do not resort to violence. And so I think it's a good thing. And um, I'm looking in anticipation to tomorrow when all of them make that commitment to peaceful elections um, in Sierra Leone. Violence definitely is not a solution to any conflict, even though we do know that electoral disputes are a potential uh, cause of uh, political violence. And um, I believe that um, this declaration would make that very clear to everybody.